Hey everyone, it is McHugh again. I'm gonna try driving and filming like this. Don't worry, it's not the entire way. So, I, oh, uh, as you can kind of see, maybe not, uh, got the trunk even full. I'm on my way to Anime Nebraska. This is my 10th year, 10th anniversary, so it's kind of special. I decided to actually run a panel to give back to the community, and it's gonna be pretty freaking awesome. Now, I've been dieting and working out a lot, and not drinking alcohol and this is kind of a party con so i'm probably gonna get really wasted i intend to vlog a little bit of my experiences because i've been doing a, a an okay job of, of documenting my year since it's been an amazing year so i'm not i won't do uh like carry around my camera the entire time but i'll get uh, a little bit of footage <laughs> Microwave, I already see that. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. nice. Okay. Not too bad. What's our lovely view? There we go. Ugh. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. This is uh, honestly, it's actually a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. How's Nebraska so far? Yay! Alrighty. Razorhead. Looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. I have got an Ox King. Looks fucking great. So, I think we're gonna go grab some food and, uh, I don't know when I'm gonna come back, but... Yeah, probably have more people. See ya. Ooh. Well... Me and Patrick lost the second turn in it. Got out round one. Super frustrating, cause... Damn, cause I know. you guys have practiced that a lot. Yeah, uh... I lost because I didn't know the... or I just... The person I was playing was the, doing stuff that I had never seen, so I didn't know how to react to it. And then Patrick lost because I think two reasons. Like, it, uh, he said he had a little bit of the jitters, and oh, um, Patrick did. Yeah, a little bit. I, like, oh, he, just due to nervousness. I think so because he dropped a couple combos, and there's some situations where I was like, he, should, he usually does this, but he doesn't. Oh man. Um, and also he was fighting Paul, which yeah. he does ridiculous, just one hit. No, oh, that's a bummer. Uh, yeah, we're just relaxing. Uh, I'm done being. Um, Eraser head because there's already five eraser heads I've already seen. Now I'm gonna be something different and something a lot cooler and something where I can show off my body for it because I've been working out a lot and that's the point. So, you know, just wanted to give an update. Um, yeah, con's been super fun, been all over and still have a lot to go. Um, we'll see if I turn this off or turn this back on in a drunken fit. Probably will. So. A lot happened after that. How's it going, everyone? I am here to tell you a little bit about my Nebraska trip. Uh, it was uh, quite an interesting con this year. Definitely did some uh, great things, and definitely did some bad things. Picking up from where I left off from recording, it kind of became similar to what I felt like at Los Angeles, where I was having a lot of fun, that I didn't really think to vlog too much. That's not entirely true, actually, because I did think to do some vlogging, but at the same time, it, it did cross my mind to capture some moments. It, I, I kind of did want to go and like film a couple shots of the hallways and uh, the nightlife, but I was at the same time having a lot of fun. It did cross my mind, but I, I just wanted to do other things. And at the same time, my friend Daniel, who was his first con, I want to show him, you know, con live, how and what you can do at the conventions and stuff like that. So a lot of it was asking him, what do you want to do? Or are you having fun in that regard? New person for convention. So it was a lot of fun showing him around. So what preceded that day on Friday was a lot of other things. We went to the dealer's room. We kind of looked around there. Uh, I bought Your Name, the anime DVD by Makoto Shinkai. Been looking for that for a while, and I got it for a pretty good deal. Everything else at the dealer's room was pretty good, except I didn't really feel the need to buy anything. I definitely will say I have complained a little bit about the past of the dealer's room of what they were offering. This year was actually really freaking good. A, lot, a huge improvement from years past, just... I personally didn't really want anything that really struck out to me, except for this one thing, but eh, at the end of the day, it was really expensive, and I probably was going to regret buying it. Honestly, we didn't do too much, just generic convention things. We 
walked around a lot. We took a couple pictures. We went to a couple panels. We just kind of hung out a lot. Uh, I had my panel scheduled at 11 a.m. the next day on Saturday, which I was totally intending to go to. So I was planning on having a good time at the con. I, I did have a good time. Um, a really good time, actually. Uh, and at one point on Friday, I went to go uh, drink as you do at conventions. Uh, I certainly wasn't feeling anything at all, and because I was, I had been dieting for seven months, eating nothing but chicken and rice pretty much for seven months, and just working my ass off, um, I restricted my diet a lot, so that meant, like, no greasy foods and, um, especially no alcohol. So I was fine for the alcohol, uh, I was day drinking, uh, all day, and I didn't really hit me at all, and then one time in, later in the evening on Friday, uh, I took a couple shots, which I should note that I took a couple shots before, um, just during the mid midday, just straight up, like, at noon, I'm pretty sure I took a couple shots, and I was fine. Certainly, I felt, you know, a little bit more drunk, because, obviously, my diet had changed and no alcohol tolerance. So, in the evening, probably around midnight, I would assume, or 11, somewhere around there, um, uh, took a couple shots, no problem. Uh, and then we went to some of the party rooms. Now, for Nebraska, and specifically the party rooms, it's pretty much free alcohol, and it's usually really crappy alcohol, like the $3 alcohol you can buy anywhere, and it's usually, it's actually always, like, vodka and then a different color of Hawaiian punch. I went to two room parties, and each one, I just took one. Apparently, I'm guessing that they had something way stronger than I originally intended. You know, I, I was drinking previously before I went out to go to the room parties, so I felt like I was, I was okay. I wasn't feeling anything. And then I drank those two which drinks, which are essentially jungle juice, but I certainly forgot things. I certainly blacked out. There was a point where I think the last thing I remember was walking around the plaza, and then somehow I, the next memory I have in, in the timeline is like back in my room, so I somehow scuttled up to the elevator, and then I had to get like buddy system like carried to the room, which luckily it wasn't that far away, uh, which, yeah, I uh, had a crazy uh, evening, I didn't puke at all, uh, Friday or Saturday or the rest of the con, just was really just completely out of it, and, uh, yeah, I, uh, I blacked out. Never blacked out, uh, from alcohol or anything for that matter, but that was definitely new. When I woke up, sure, I had a hangover and whatnot, I had a headache and everything, but actually when I woke up at 10 p.m., or 10 a.m., um, I felt great. Like, I felt solid. Uh, then I was getting ready for my panel and whatnot. I was waiting outside the room, waiting for the panel in front of me to end, so then I can set up and do my panel. And as I was standing there, I realized that I couldn't really think of complete thoughts in my head. And I told myself that, yeah, I, I'm in no place to really give the performance or the presentation that I really wanted nor that I thought that the um, people that that would come to the to the panel deserved. So we, we had a bunch of people that came to the panel, um, people that were excited to go to the panel, that told me that, oh, I'm super excited to go to your panel, and I wasn't there. So I super hard regret doing that. I, I really should have just told the staff members that I was canceling. In fact, there was, I believe, a, a new staff worker the room right next to my presentation. I should have just told her, but I don't know. I, I, I just had a really, like, not even a panic moment, which is a dumb moment where I just didn't, I just did not care. I just wanted to go back to my room and rest up a bit. So, yeah, I let down a lot of people, and, uh, yeah, pretty honestly, it, it shouldn't be that shameful, that bad, considering, um, the con in general. Not that I'm saying that Nebraska con is crappy by any means, but, it definitely reflects poorly on me that I didn't tell someone that I was canceling. So I do heavily regret that. And to this to this hour, to this day, I still am beating myself over the head. Like, why didn't I just tell someone that I canceled it? It was really dumb. I, I felt really shitty about it. And I went to the uh, uh, manager of like all the panels I was organizing, kind of, like kind of the overseer for it. And I apologized to the guy. He didn't seem like... 
A, he didn't care, and B, he was just like, oh, okay, whatever kind of deal. So, in a way, I kind of feel a little bit better about that, but really, I should have just told a staff member that I was canceling it. So, that was kind of the only bad part, part about Con. Other than that, it was a swell time. I had a lot of fun there at the convention. Got to sit on a couple of panels. Usually when I go to cons, I have like my whole schedule planned out for panels I want to go to and just events I want to do. And it's probably didn't help that for most of Saturday I was hungover. Again, it wasn't really a big headache per se. Uh, I just just kind of fell off the entire day and that's that's no bueno. This con, I just didn't go to a whole lot of events or plans, which if you ever go to conventions, you know that no matter how many times you schedule something before the before the convention, it, things are going to change. You're just going to play it by ear and whatnot. So, yeah, a little bit sad that I didn't do more, but I, I did a lot. I'm, I'm pretty happy for, uh, for what I did accomplish. So that was kind of uh, my Saturday, just being ashamed that uh, I didn't uh, go through with the panel, which I honestly, I could have gone through the panel. I Again, it was just I did not feel... Like I was in the right state of mind. Yeah, didn't really do too much on Saturday evening. Hung out with a friend the entire time that I only pretty much see uh, once a year for the con. Uh, and that was Saturday. And then Sunday, didn't do too much because personally, I don't think Sundays are very eventful for conventions. Me personally. Although, this con had a lot of panels that, I, uh, that actually were pretty cool. But, uh, I don't know, there's just not a whole lot. I just... There's not a whole lot of motivation to do stuff on a Sunday at convention, last day's convention, because you're not there for a full day, and then people, they just the community is just not active, because probably they're all hungover or just sleeping in and whatnot, and a lot of people are just leaving the convention. Um, so, yeah, Sundays are just kind of very chill, not really wanting to do anything. Major feeling of the conventions on Sundays, just people just want to go home. And I was definitely in that boat as I am in every convention on Sundays. Sorry I didn't vlog more. I totally had the thought process to do that. But I was uh, having a lot of fun. Certainly not the convention that I thought I was going to have. But at the very least, I can come back with some stories. Not some great stories, but some stories nonetheless. I have that uh, blackout drunk in the haze of mine. There definitely came a lot of a lot of memes that I did. Um, nothing bad, mind you. Just a lot of funny things I said drunk that uh, the group, uh, the group that I went with, and the other conference group that uh, I usually go to conventions with. I only see once a year. Uh, they picked up on a meme that uh, I said, so <laughs> it's a good story. Hopefully that trend will keep on going. Anyways, that's it for the convention that uh, I went to in Nebraska in twenty eighteen, the year of the Beagle. It wasn't the con that I imagined, but it was certainly an interesting convention. And looking back on it, I know I'm still going to have regrets about that panel. Uh, hopefully I can do it next year. At the very end of the day, though, I'm going to look back and say, well, it wasn't pretty, but I did all that and it was an adventure. Maybe next year. Probably not because conventions are usually times where I just have a lot of fun and just want to have fun. Don't really want to focus on recording or documenting. So, all I can do is uh, recite what I know. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.